What's up, nerds and nerdettes, and we little nerdlings all? <laughs> it's your buddy, Big Johnny G for two. Gun Pixie presents Legendary Gaming. Tabletop Takeout Wednesday. Thank you for joining me here. We uh, do this video every Tuesday. Where I, uh, I just give you kind of like bullet points on reasons why I enjoy the game. It's not a full review, but it is what I thought about it. We do a video every day of the week. Some days, multiple videos around here. So come check us out. We're a for fun channel. There's no backers. There's no patrons. There's no sponsors. We're doing all these videos just for fun. Because of the love of doing these videos. Playing these games. So if you're into that, then hit that subscribe, because that's how Two Gun Pixie thrives. <laughs> but for right now, my friends, I want to talk about a game that uh, that me and Ron have been playing a lot of, and uh, hopefully, maybe you will too. So join me down the table. I tell you what it is that I enjoyed about Franzetta Dice and Card Strategy Game. I'll see you down there. Thank you for joining me. Uh, so yeah, this is a game that uh, I, I found by accident actually on Amazon, and it wasn't that expensive at all. It was under ten dollars. So I thought to myself, Frenzetta Art, dice card strategy game under ten dollars, Amazon Prime. How could I lose? <laughs> and I didn't. I didn't lose at all. Uh, spoiler. Uh, if you want to fast forward to the end, uh, it's basically going to be me telling you, this is a great game, I loved it so damn much. i got to remember to say it just like that at the end. <laughs> but this this game, this, this game is a, is, is a tribute, it's a love letter to one of the arguably greatest fantasy artists uh, of all time, Frank Franzetta. Uh, his, his, generally, his fantasy art is fantastic, his Conan work is known around the world, all his work really is. Uh, and to see that, uh, you know, a game has come out based on his work took me by surprise. Uh, I mean, there's been other games over the last few years that are based on uh, iconic artwork. We've had uh, games that are based uh, on, on the usage of real, actual pulp magazine uh, work. Uh, games using original uh, comic book art, uh, you know, like uh, from The Phantom. Uh, so we, we have seen this before. So I shouldn't have been overly surprised, but I think it was the the subject matter. It just never occurred to me, no matter how cool it is, that someone was going to make a game based on the artwork of Frank Franzetta. And to set it and to make it a, a fantasy game, I mean, he, he did other artwork too, but he's the bulk of it and what he's most well known for. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely the fantasy artwork. And, and these cards definitely do. It's, uh, I, it's all a 36. Uh, they 36 of some of his most iconic, beautifully illustrated uh, pieces. And uh, these larger than normal size cards, about tarot card size, uh, I guess. And uh, they're just actually beautiful to behold. They almost want to almost want to frame them themselves. They're, they're so beautiful. Now the rules are the rules are really easy. There's just a, it's, it's just like a booklet. <laughs> uh, there's a couple of things that you can do, but it's it's really all. On the cards themselves, especially if you're playing the advanced, and I don't, I, I, we we've never yet to play the basic. We just jumped right into the advanced because the basic was so damn easy, uh, and there was very little added on to the advanced, uh, which basically adds in the usage of uh, of some of the dice powers and stuff. But yeah, each card has a has a f four dice around it, and uh, each of them uh, for different means and uh, can do different things, and they have icons on them, and that will increase some of the weird cool things that they do now that brings me to another thing about the game that i enjoyed was the way the strategy plays out in the game you you don't necessarily always want to play your highest card which normally would be the winning card the most powerful card with the highest number because of the the effects the, the icon the symbol effects that will be on the cards most of the cards uh one sometimes two i think maybe even some of them have three depending on which die you use will depend on which of the effects associated on that specific card that you can do. So yeah, you, you might not always want to throw down uh, a card that lets you roll the d20, which is pretty damn good. 
Maybe you have a card that throws out a D6, but gives you a really cool option if the, your opponent flubs or something. So I like that strategy. It's not just bashing down the door. You know, just use the strongest die, bash down the door, and that's it. No, no, there's there's a much deeper strategy to this that you would uh, you would not really expect at first glance. That that's something that uh, that we've been enjoying a hell of a lot of. So besides the easy rules uh, to learn and to teach, by the way, the playtime is really fast. Uh, we played this game in about 15 minutes. I had a pop sometimes. So I mean, with easy rules, a, a small box to carry it around in, uh, fast game time play for for two players. Now, because you can't play it one player, there's no AI mode. Uh, but for two players, this is a this is a hot little game to play, like for a lunchtime break or something. You, you know, you're a fantasy gamer and you're at lunchtime, and you know one other person that doesn't mind chucking some dice. This this game will uh, this game will give you a good 15, 20 minutes of play. I like that about it. You know, uh, another thing I like is that although it's not it's not a Conan game. It certainly freaking feels like a Conan game. You know, possibly because the art is so used in a lot of the Conan stuff. And it's very familiar. And even there's the general fantasy stuff. Uh, the band Molly Hatchet used uh, several of uh, pieces from Frank Fanzata and their album covers. It's His art is more iconic, I think, than most people realize. More more people know Frank Fanzata's artwork without knowing that they know his artwork. <laughs> But, uh, I mean, this, this, that, that helps make it feel, like I said, it's uh, it's not a Conan game. But it sure as hell feels like a Conan game. I definitely got to say that if you're looking for a good filler game, fantasy filler game, maybe something to get to the table or you're waiting for the rest of your D&D or Pathfinder buddy to show up and you can start a hardcore game of epic campaigning, you you might be interested in this. This is a really good filler game uh, to help you get in the mood. You'll be in the Conan fantasy mood. You'll be in the fighting mood from those cards. Uh, and like I said, it's, it's quick enough play. I, I think that anyone that's interested in uh, fantasy gaming, big or small, needs to uh, learn more about this game. Check it out. I mean, don't listen to just what I say. I mean, uh, influencers, right? Don't listen to them. Floating heads that may or may not be bribed, gifted, or bought to tell you a certain thing about a product. Watch playthroughs. That's what you got to do. Watch playthroughs of a game, and that will give you a better understanding of whether it's something you think you and your group are going to enjoy. So go. Even though I love it, go. Get more information on Frank Franzetta's Dice and Card Strategy Game.